Learning is a lifelong journey, no mere destination. Take that to heart. You'll beat Valhalla at its own game. I know it. And they see you can't buy self-improvement. You made much better progress that time. Sigrun, how fair are you and your sisters? With just the three of us to attend to the Fallen now, we're short-handed. But we've begun recruiting new shield maidens. Well, I happen to know of one lass who'd jump at the chance to join your ranks. You mean Throot, Sif and Thor's daughter? <laughs> Believe me, I know. She sought us out before the call even left our lips. Mm. She fights well and can be trusted. A recommendation from you, General. With that, how could we ignore her? Not that she'd let us. Key again. More to the story? Yes. When there is time.
Any questions before you get started? I was wondering, actually. Did Odin ever try his hand at Valhalla? Of course. He explored it very thoroughly in seeking to gain control of the Valkyries. But in the end, he found nothing here he could use. You see, Odin always looked outside himself for answers. But Valhalla only reveals its secrets to those who do the work of looking within. Hardly wait to see your choice.
Seems Valhalla won't let you that way unless you strike a bargain. More that Valhalla makes me revisit my misadventures with Oberon, the more like a dream it all seems. Which is ironic. Back then in my youth, I could hardly bear to sleep. Then, with time, I came to value a proper night's rest. In captivity, it was nearly the only escape I knew. And then the need to sleep went away completely. And I don't miss the time lost, but damn it, brother, I do miss dreaming. The mind comes to terms with itself in ways only possible with your waking judgment out of the way. Our hidden desires, our anxieties. Like a bifrost window to what's going on in your soul. And Valhalla does the same. Aye. I don't think I realize how much I need it. Oh! 
We're rid of that little curse. Good. The route to the higher area ought to be open now. We 
we could use some limited time assistance, couldn't we? Us about this boat, Captain. If you needed this key to save others, why does it seem to bother you so? Your actions in this case seem justified. The Captain was swallowed by the Hydra before I was able to kill it. When I entered its maw to retrieve the key, the Captain had somehow survived, dangling over a fall that would surely kill him. I saw the terror in his eyes as he fought to hold on, and in relief when he believed I would save him. Instead, I took the key and dropped him to his death, and it was all for nothing. The women were dead by the time I reached them. I knew you couldn't resist the challenge.
I'm back to brighten your day. Target Valhalla's <laughs> mark. Your fight's tougher after all. Ground! 
Please, take your sweet, sweet time. was here.
with a trident? Demoralizing. That's it. You've opened the way forward with your blood soaked and savage way. Decisions, decisions. Brother, I'm back. Welcome, Kratos. Honor me with another sparring match. I have another cherished weapon from my travels to show you. 
Ready to see. Arms up! Indifference, consumed only by rage and retribution. That is not what I asked. How did it feel in that moment, your soul given over to darkness, bringing a darkness over everything you could see? It felt true. Get 
I yield. I yield. Good then. I don't think you are indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait. Is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios's chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes. I fell to my death and was saved by Helios. But this memory happened before I killed him. My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. You are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head, you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. It seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... No, I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know, I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger, it's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. In other days. You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you. My lady. General. Valhalla sees your progress. Yeah. This boon is yours. Do you feel adaptability sharpening your skills, amplifying your power? I'll tell you more of my story now, if you care to hear it. Proceed. If you remember, 
My father had fallen ill. It was bad. An illness unknown to us. I offered to fetch the mage healer from the city, but my father refused. He insisted herbs were the only way to help him. And you can guess what happened next. He was gone before the spring. I was devastated. In time, I grew to hate my father's philosophy and dedicated myself to healing through magic. It was a blind rejection of an entire field because I believed it failed my father, because I blamed his death on his faith. The truth is, I traded one limiting perspective for another, but I wasn't ready to see that yet. That's a good place to stop for now. <clears throat> And the wheel of progress turns. Valhalla honors you. Kuna. Take this. Celebrate each accomplishment. Ready for a little more of my life story? Go ahead. I was in the fight of my life with the thugs who burned down my father's inn. Suddenly, there's this sound, this flapping of feathers, and who should appear but Sigrun herself? Not yet queen, but by reputation, the best fighter the Valkyries had in memory. I was awestruck. She was confused. The violence, the mayhem she sensed, she expected to follow it to a battlefield full of honored dead, not a hideout in the slums. I apologized to her for not sending worthier souls to Valhalla, and Sigrun offered to take me under her very impressive wing. But we'll cover that part next time, all right? Uh. I know it's above board, but I like to think of this part as bribing the local authorities.
Yeah! 